Hi there, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Dean. I'm one of the GPs here at the Kings Road Medical Centre. I've been asked to talk to you today a little bit about blood pressure and what high blood pressure might mean to you. Um, so first, a little bit about what blood pressure actually means. Uh, it's a slightly strange concept, but uh, essentially what we're trying to record is the pressure that's in all the blood vessels that are running around your body. Uh, there are lots of things that make up this blood pressure um, and uh, I won't go into the details of it now but suffice to say a high blood pressure means that, that within all these blood vessels there is a greater pressure not only on the blood vessels but on all the organs like the brain, the heart and the kidney that are supplied by these blood vessels. So it's a good idea to try and control it if you want to look after the health of your organs uh, going forward and to avoid seeing the doctor um, more often than you have to. Uh, generally, there are no symptoms associated with high blood pressure. Perhaps if it's very high, then you might have headaches, but this is quite rare. So the causes of high blood pressure. Um, the first cause uh, is it genetics? So this is your makeup, and um, sadly, uh, if you've just um, had the misfortune of, of of having genes that predispose you to high blood pressure, then there's perhaps not a huge amount you can do to try and avoid that uh, long term. Although, of course, a healthy lifestyle is always a good idea. Uh, lifestyle is the major cause of high blood pressure that we see, and it's to an extent, uh, largely uh, therefore um, avoidable high blood pressure so long as your lifestyle is uh, sufficiently healthy. So things like smoking, being overweight, a poor diet um, that may be high in salt, um, and stress and anxiety can all increase your blood pressure. Stress and anxiety obviously can temporarily raise your blood pressure and uh, this is often what we see when patients come and see us in clinic. They may have a high blood pressure because of what's called a white coat syndrome. They're in front of a doctor and so we try not to take a one-off reading and diagnose you with high blood pressure. We would rather do your blood pressure over an extended period of time such as 24 hours so that we can see what it's like when you're just doing your everyday kind of business. Um, as you get older as well, your blood vessels get older along with you and they become a little mm -hmm. less um, mm -hmm. flexible and so your blood pressure uh, increases as the vessels don't uh, stretch so much every time the heart beats. Um, so what can you do about your high blood pressure? Well, we try and avoid medication initially and uh, we would recommend um, some self self-help and, and that's generally down to your lifestyle. So exercise is a good way of uh, increasing uh, your, your general health as well as reducing your blood pressure. Uh, it of course improves the health of your heart first and foremost. Um, looking at your diet, that is also a good idea. We know as I mentioned earlier that diets that are high in salt will increase your uh, blood pressure. Also looking at things such as smoking and alcohol, we know that they also have an impact on your blood pressure. If all that doesn't work, then we do start to use medications and uh, there's a whole variety of options available and uh, what we try and do is, is stratify your risk individually and then prescribe you the most appropriate medication that's going to bring down your blood pressure and uh, thereby, thereby avoid uh, damaging organs like your kidneys and your heart and your brain and uh, keep you fit and healthy uh, for longer. Uh, I hope this has been useful to you and um, should you have any questions I'm sure we'd be happy to see you.